Now, we've all been suddenly bombarded up here in Canada with uh, inquiries of Americans that want to move to Canada now that uh, Trump has been elected as the new president. Well, I'm going to tell you the uh, easiest way. It's uh, called marry a Canadian and have them sponsor you. Now, uh, you know, marriage, of course, is one of those uh, beautiful things in life that you only do a couple of times. Let's run. Well, hello, tubers. Today I'm coming to you from the mighty supernatural British Columbia, Canada. Well, last night, or early this morning, if you're on the West Coast, uh, Mr. Trump was elected. And already, the servers of uh, our government offices are uh, crashing because of all the Americans trying to figure out how to move to Canada. So, um, strangely enough, even I started getting messages from my unguarded American border series about how to just move to Canada. Now let me dispel a myth. You can't just show up at a border with your shit and say I'm moving to Canada. No, 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 no. Those border guards are paid to stop you from doing that. And they're going to turn you around and you're going to put you on a computer list that says you better not ever come back. So forget about it. Now before you even start this entire process and hire a lawyer or uh, you know you know even do anything beyond that don't don't buy a house and just move up here because that's going to backfire too for those of you who can afford to do that. You need to see if you're even eligible. Which uh, means if you or anybody in your family, your kids, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you're traveling with, have a criminal record of any substantial amount of any kind, you know, even uh, driving under the influence, it could bar you from even being eligible. And same with uh, serious medical problems. If you've got extreme medical problems that are going to cost the Canadian taxpayers and their socialized medicine a lot of money, you're not going to be eligible. So look into that first. If you ain't eligible, forget about it. Go to Costa Rica or some other country that might uh, be a little more liberal. Now the easiest way to get her done and move to Canada isn't just to sneak in across the border because we have very few illegal immigrants here in Canada because you need ID to do everything. If you want to rent a place, you want to get a job, you want to cash your paycheck, anything you want to do, you're going to need ID. And how are you even going to get a doctor? How are you going to get medical services? It's just a nightmare if you do not have documents. So. Forget about sneaking through. <laughs> now, could you sneak through and just say, hey, I'm going to a rock concert in Vancouver, and then you just stay? Sure. But you're going to run into all these problems that I just mentioned. Now, the easiest way for people who aren't skilled like doctors who can just get a visa or a work permit very quickly is to marry a Canadian. Yes, marry a Canadian. Now, I'm not suggesting I'm eligible because, uh, been there, done that, not interested in being financially responsible for anybody other than myself and maybe my dog. But you go on Match.com and you can find a lot of Canadians. If you like uh, beer swilling uh, uh, people that like to laugh a lot, you can check that out and you can sign yourself up and find one of these uh, men and or women, whatever your choice may be. You can save sex, we don't care. 